Hi there, welcome to Cedar Jack Farms. My name is CJ. Today I want to show you how we make our homemade cinnamon rolls. And this takes about an hour, so not a lot of proving time. We actually have a trick to speeding it up, and I will show you guys that when we get there. So first we're going to start with one and a quarter cup of warm milk, about body temperature. So I just warm this up, pour that in your stand mixer. Next we're going to do a third cup of sugar. And after that, a tablespoon of our instant dry yeast. Again, keep mine in the fridge. Something that I also find really important is to use decently fresh yeast. Um, there have been times where I've had something sitting there, like I haven't baked for a while, but it's been sitting there for months, and I try to use the yeast again, and it's just, it's not okay. Okay. So I'm just kinda gonna mix this together while I go grab, I have about a third cup of butter sitting in the fridge cooling down because I melted it, but I don't want it to kill the yeast. So I'm gonna go grab that. I'm just gonna dump this in with our milk and yeast mixture. Now I'm gonna add an egg. Never crack a farm egg into your mixing bowl where you have all of your other ingredients. Crack it into a small bowl. And then go ahead and put it in your mixture. Just in case. Okay, so I'm gonna let that mix up. Okay, now we are going to add three and two thirds cup of flour. And this is just regular all purpose flour. I got my big can today. One. Two. That egg yolk wasn't quite broken up. Three. One third. I'm just gonna put this on low and let it go ahead and mix all together. Okay. Now that it's starting to incorporate, I'm going to add my salt. We're gonna do about teaspoon of salt and we're just gonna measure this by my eye. Okay, go ahead and let it mix again on low. As this is mixing, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off and just kind of scrape down the sides every once in a while. Some of that flour gets stuck around the edges. Here's our dough. Just gonna go ahead and get it off of the dough hook. It almost feels like um, cookie dough. Still pretty sticky. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy so he's out of my way. So what we're gonna do, here's the trick. We're gonna get a big bowl. I'm going to fill this with hot water and then I'm going to set this bowl in here. So let's do that. So I've got my bowl of hot water. It's not super hot where it's going to bake the dough, but it will give it a warm environment. And this is going to speed up the rising process. So it's going to stay in here for about 20 minutes. So like I said, warm environment to let this go ahead and rise. I'm gonna put plastic wrap right on top of it. Here's 
Me and plastic wrap do not get along. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes to rise. While that is rising, I'm going to go ahead and grease or butter my um, cast iron pan. This thing is huge. You can pretty much use any size that you want. If you don't have one of these large ones, you can use any size and then just kind of do it in batches. So this is the butter that I use every time that I go to butter a pan for bread. Just cut off a piece of a stick. Just go all around it. And you can tell because that's usually what it'll look like afterwards. Okay, so I have my pan all buttered. So what else we can do while that is rising is making our insider filling. So we're gonna get a quarter cup of butter and then some sugar and cinnamon. So right now I have a quarter cup of butter melting in the microwave. And then to that, I'm going to add, let's talk about cinnamon real quick. I just cleaned out my pantry. I had two canisters of cinnamon. So I took one can and put it in the other, and then I threw the empty one away, and I, I confirmed that I did that. And now I cannot find that cinnamon anywhere, the full one, anywhere. So I had to make my own cinnamon real quick just by using cinnamon sticks and just grinding them up. So we're gonna do about a tablespoon of cinnamon. You can do a half tablespoon, it's up to you. I like mine, whew, very cinnamony. To the cinnamon, you're going to add one cup of brown sugar, and of course I use dark brown sugar. You can use regular brown sugar. I don't really know the differences. I don't know if it makes a difference. I just like the flavor of dark brown sugar more. All right, now I'm gonna mix that up in the cup. Get the cinnamon and the brown sugar all mixed in together. Okay, so with the rest of my time, I just kind of cleaned up a little bit and I checked on our dough and it has pretty much doubled in size. So that's what it looks like now. So what I did here was just kind of butter it a little bit. People say to use vegetable oil and stuff like that, but I just ran that same butter that I used to um, butter the pan, that cast iron, and so this won't stick. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is just roll this out. So it's about, I don't know, 18 by 12, something like that. So here's what I got. Next, I'm going to spread my melted butter. This is a quarter cup of melted butter and just slather on this whole area. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now for the fun part, you're going to take your cinnamon and brown sugar mix and you're just going to spread it all around. I break up any clumps that I have. Okay, so now we're going to take this and roll it. This makes about 12 cinnamon rolls, but I don't know. Mine seems to make more than that. I think I make them a little bit smaller than normal, so. I'm gonna grab my cast iron pan and I'm just gonna start setting them in there. So 
So I usually cut about one good one that I like and then I use that to measure how big. And you can make them as thick as you want. This is just gonna go to some people at work. So I wanna make sure there's enough for everyone. I just like to butt them up as much as I can next to each other. I'm actually going to, I'm gonna just use a bench scraper because that's not working out for me. I'm getting impatient. I just kind of wrap them up a little bit tighter as I'm going because they do get a little loose. And you are going to let these go ahead and rise again for a little bit in the oven while it's preheating. We're going to stick them in there so they'll rise as they're sitting in there. So it never fails. I always end up with more dough than I have room for. So I'm just going to find a smaller cast iron and put these in there. Okay, so I'm going to put these in a cold oven instead of 375. take my sourdough starter that's drying out out of there. So those are going to bake for 23 minutes and after 23 minutes they should be about golden brown. So while the cinnamon rolls are baking we have about seven and a half minutes left. I'm going to make the frosting. So I've got a third cup of cream cheese and to that, I'm going to add another third cup of powdered sugar. And then just a teaspoon of lemon juice. Completely eyeball that. Mix that together. So got some clumps in there of powdered sugar. One thing that I have learned but have not learned my lesson yet is to whenever you're adding powdered sugar or flour or anything to do it through like one of those mesh strainers so you don't get clumps but I I do that sometimes I don't do it as often as I should do it obviously all right and here is our frosting just tiny taste hmm pretty good all right, so here they are. Just came out of the oven. See, you don't they look beautiful? You don't need to make like 12 big ones. You just gotta make however many of this is decent sized ones, right? And these ones obviously turned out a little bit different. I pulled these about seven minutes before the timer went off, just cause they're smaller in there in the separate pan. So I'm going to let these sit for about 15 minutes to cool down and then I'm going to add the icing. Okay, so I let it cool down for about 15 minutes. It's still pretty warm because it's in that cast iron and it retains heat, but we're going to go ahead and put it on anyways. There are finished cinnamon rolls. Don't they look delicious? I want to eat them so bad right now, but I promised some girls at work that I would bring them in tomorrow. Still. I mean, I have to take them out of this pan and put them in like a Tupperware or something to take them to work. So I don't think that they would really notice, except for like, this is the shape of a circle and it might have like a chunk of that circle missing. Maybe I'll just have one. I have four more, but those are going to other people. I'm going to take one out of here. It's going to happen. So that is the super quick way of making cinnamon rolls. I think at least. Completely homemade. Homemade frosting. The house smells absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to, like I said, let these cool down and then I'm going to put them in Tupperware so I can take them to work tomorrow. These ones, the ones that I did over here, I want to try a new frosting that I haven't tried before, so that's why I didn't put any frosting on those yet. So, 
If you guys try this recipe out, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and put all the details down in the description below. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to try to be pushing out more videos for you guys. And thank you for joining me today. Mm -hmm.